Are you manually scraping the web right now? Mind your business. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one. If you think about it, web scraping has always been a super important part when it comes to any useful workflow. It's kind of like that invisible backbone of the internet. The thing quietly pulling data, connecting dots, and leading to insights into every tool we rely on. No wonder there's like a bajillion videos and tutorials showing you how to do it. If you've ever compared prices, gathered data sets, tracked reviews, or just engaged in some light corporate espionage, you've probably relied in some form of scraping. And no wonder you're still watching. You're probably interested too. Please don't click out the video. I need this retention time. But here's the thing. Web scrapping has always been weirdly hard. You either need to know how to code, spinning up Python, installing beautiful soup or selenium, dealing with broken selectors every two days, or you're stuck using one of those expensive no-code scraping tools that still somehow require you to code. Kobe. Like, why do these no-code tools have like 47 settings? Why do I need a PhD to scrape a product list from eBay? Or a lot of the time, they can just be very, very inconsistent. That's why today, I want to show you how you can scrape anything on the web, create adjacent files with it, schedule web crawling tasks, and so, so much more without touching a single line of code. All you need to do is just prompt, and you'll be able to do that in less than two minutes using something that we've been building called Nilima. She's a general AI agent with a built-in infrastructure capable of handling highly complex tasks that no other agents out there can do. And all you need to do is just prompt her. While Nenima can do more than just web scraping, many people are already using her for it. So we thought, let's go ahead and make a video showing you how web scraping is no longer just for developers, it's really for anyone who can really go ahead and type a sentence. So in this video, I'll walk you to exactly how to do it, step by step. We'll cover three different examples. First, track a competitor's web page. We can use browser base, for example. Second, build a data set of products on Amazon. And a special final example that I'm sure you'll find useful. So be sure to stick around until the end. Now, to start, you want to create an account with Nelima. And lucky for you, it's a super easy process. Just go to this website, click on this button here, and sign up by clicking right here. Once that's done, you'll be redirected to Nilima's interface. Okay, now that we're here, time for some online stuff. I mean, online research. So this is a browser-based website. Really love the design, by the way. They did a really good job on this. However, what I'm interested in is the pricing page where they detail their pricing. Pricing page where they detail their pricing? Who wrote this script? And what I want Nilima to do is copy down all the detail about each subscription plan like the name of the plan, how much it costs per month or year, what's included in them. Then organize that information neatly into a structured JSON file. And then go ahead and save that into Nenima's agentic storage so I can use it later. But what is the agentic storage? Take it over, Professor James. Thank you, normal James. The agentic storage is Nenima's built-in operating and memory system for files and data. It's where she can create, save, update, and retrieve documents so she can keep track of information across tasks and workflows and also run scripts slash programs on them. Think of it as if Windows had a child named Google Drive and arranged a political marriage with a long distant cousin named Linux, and they had a child named Nilima after the war. Okay. And after waiting for a few seconds, Nilima comes back to us saying that she managed to do it. She even saved it on the file in the storage, so if I scroll down and go ahead and open it, here it is. Congratulations, we just successfully scraped the website and did it in less than two minutes. Now, for the next example, we'll do something with Amazon. You know, that website that is famously known for being hard to scrape. For this one, this will be the prompt I will write. Search Amazon for the top running backpack listings. For each listing, extract the title, product link, price, and description. Organize all this information into a well-formatted Excel file with each column labeled clearly. Save the file in the agentic storage. And I'm sure you're wondering why I'm searching for a running backpack. Well, you'll definitely need one once Jeff knows what you're doing. Either way, as we expected, Nenima comes back saying that she managed to do it. 
And if we go ahead and open the file, this is what it looks like. Look at it. I got the title, the link, the price, and also the description. And remember, you can do other tasks on top of this file, like sending it as an email if you want, or creating a data analysis report. You can do so, so much. Stop right there, oh no, scum. Amazon security forces. Sorry, gotta go. Now for the less example, we'll do drum rolls, please. LinkedIn. We did a previous video showing how you can find job opportunities using Nilima, and many use LinkedIn for it. Watch it if you're interested. But I bet you didn't know that Nilima can also fetch posts made on the platform. You already know the gist. A quick poof, and this is the prompt we'll use. We'll search LinkedIn for posts talking about AI in healthcare. Nilima will summarize the posts, collect the author's name, a quick description about them, and also the link to the post and put it all in a CSV file. And we also ask her to save everything into a folder called LinkedIn Healthcare Leads. And it's a success. We scroll down the agentic storage, find the file, open it, and voila, here it is. It just looks beautiful, to be honest. At this point, you are probably now understanding how powerful Ninima can be for your web scraping needs. But I'm sure there's one last thing you might be asking. James, why did I only get a few results on some of those examples? When you're web scraping, you typically need a lot of data, and that's something we've actually been working on. If you want to find hundreds or thousands of results, reach out to us. We made a cool breakthrough, and we would love to have people to test it out. So make sure to join our Discord community. You can ask different questions there, collaborate, join other people. And also, if you'd like, feel free to send me a DM on Twitter slash X. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hopefully I see you in the next video.